The first thing I think we need to discuss when we're talking about rowing is your spinal position. If you're, you know, walking around, you look like an armadillo and you're leaning back when you do your row, you're not really training the upper back muscles at all. You're just training your spine to move, right? You have to, you have to look at your training and think, what am I practicing? What am I learning here? And so first and foremost, I need you to set up with a straight back position. So I like to learn the row and I, I would encourage you to picture our rowing series here um, on, on the bench. So your knee is on the bench, your hand is on the bench, your foot is on the ground and your other hand is holding the dumbbell. You're only rowing with one arm. It's, you know, more simply known as a dumbbell row. Um, I like to call it a three point dumbbell row because you have three points of contact supporting your body. Now with the spine here, as I'm supporting myself on the bench, I can't have this super rounded position and I can't have this super arched position because what I need is I need stability in the middle of my body so that I can direct the force into the dumbbell that's in my hand, right? Our, the, the only way you can produce force is by interacting with the ground, right? That's how gravity works and that's how we manipulate ourselves. There's a astronaut by the name of Chris Hadfield who, you know, he spent some time in space and he says gravity is the ultimate oppressor. And I, I've never heard that that really stuck with me. I've never heard anything that's more true than that, having worked with so many different people and kind of experiencing <laughs> gravity in many different ways in the gym. So first and foremost, we need to stabilize the spine. We need to find a nice flat position, uh, not too arched like a bow, not too rounded like a turtle, a nice flat position that we can hold on to while we do the row. 